Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I'm going to show you uh, a couple of metrics that we can use all in Python, all simple. Um, first what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate our beta, beta. <laughs> um, portfolio math for the average investor. It's a way to measure risk of a particular equity. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to measure. Uh, at the end here you'll see some formulas that you can use that are from Excel. But what we're really after is the R squared. Um, so right here is one advantage we discussed earlier is the ability to gauge the reliability of your B beta. This is done by calculating the R squared. From here, we can input two variables containing the percent averages. Okay, so using uh, Python, which makes it easier, I mean, all it really takes is three lines, actually just one line here. And then that's just a simple line regression using this package. And uh, all we need to do is just calculate the R value, which we get here, uh, but we also want the, the P value as well. So we're getting everything there that we want uh, for the beta. So um, let me just show you it runs, uh, this is it. And uh, generally, this is all we get here, right here. All right. Um, and the other stuff is uh, all these guys right here. So we get our p-value as well. That could be part of the beta as well. Now, the other script uh, I want to show you is the implied volatility. This is found at Stack Exchange. Now, the general question was, here's the parameters that we use, stock price strike, time to maturity, risk-free interest, uh, call put, option price. So, generally, here's the parameters that we feed in, but uh, I just want you to realize that it's been downloaded once. So, I'd like to wonder about the reliability of this uh, uh, algorithm if it's actually working or not, but for now I'm going to use it and uh, let me just run that for you as well. So here's all the stuff we need or no. Um, you can't remember which one. Uh, I think it's probably this one. Yeah. Mm -mm. Must be. Okay, so let me just run it. So, yeah, so that's what we want. Uh, and let me just break it. There we go. There's our implied volatility that's been calculated. I'll, I'll run it again. There you go. So that's running. Um, hopefully that's correct. Um, I'm hopefully I can plug it into my system, but for now, hopefully it'll work. But just so I let you know, and you can go to my blog to uh, get the uh, links for them as well. Have a good one.